true faith. In the last sections, we indicated the difficulty of religious practice and the imperfection sensed by those who strive to become better. As we become aware of how much better we can become, and although we do become better, because our standards increase far faster than our attainments, we feel as if we are getting worse. If it stayed that way, we would soon despair of living. We would become very critical of the world and weary of living in it. The famed author of the story Rosh Haman, which was made into a prize-winning motion picture, Ryo Suki Akutagawa, was a person who reached just that point of view. He committed suicide at the early age of 35, leaving the following note, quote, I am unable to be responsible for the evils of this world, close quote. This note expresses the heart of a very sensitive artist. His standards for the world exceeded that of the great majority of us, but it lacks one thing. The thing lacking in Akutagawa's note is the saving grace which understands and accepts his sense of evilness or imperfection. This is why Amida Buddha's causal vow is so important. Quote, whether it is our sense of evil that leaves us no choice but to accept Amida Buddha's vow to cause our birth in the pure land, or whether it is Amida Buddha's causal vow that allows us to see how imperfect and evil we are, our sense of evil and Amida Buddha's causal vow are related to each other in a way that makes it impossible for them to be separated. Close quote. You have heard of the irresistible force meeting the immovable object. This is a logical impossibility, of course, for if there was an immovable object, by definition, that means there is nothing that can move it. That is, there is no irresistible force. Or, if there is an irresistible force, that means there is nothing that can hold it back. That is, that there is no immovable object. Amida Buddha's causal vow can be equated to either the immovable object or to the irresistible force. Regardless of how evil you are, Amida Buddha's compassionate vow to cause your birth in the pure land will overcome it and result in your birth there. Further, it can be said that the greater your awareness of your evil nature, the greater you will experience how compassionate Amida Buddha's causal vow is. Those who do not feel a sense of evil or imperfection in themselves, will feel that it is their right to be born in the pure land if they live moral lives. Those who are aware of their evil nature find it difficult to believe that they will be born in the pure land because they are not worthy of it. But being worthy or unworthy has nothing to do with the matter. Regardless of how you evaluate yourself, Amida Buddha is one-sidedly working toward your birth in the pure land. That is why that widely quoted but little understood phrase in the Tani Show, which are notes lamenting differences, means, quote, Since even the good man will be born in the pure land, how much more so will the bad man? Close quote. Zendo said, faith has two aspects. First, the firm conviction that we are evil beings ever drowning in the sea of birth and death. Second, the unshakable belief that Amida Buddha's 48 vows welcome and embrace all sentient beings and that we are certain to be born in his land of bliss. This passage is the fundamental explanation of faith in Jodo Shenshu. The, quote, conviction that we are evil beings, close quote, is the seemingly irresistible force that comes in contact with the actual immovable object of the causal vow. Quote, drowning in the sea of birth and death, close quote, is the seemingly immovable object that comes in contact with the actual irresistible force of the causal vow. Regardless of how strong our sense of evil or imperfection, Amida Buddha's vow to cause our birth in the pure land is stronger. We cannot experience the strength of the causal vow unless we come in contact with it. Sometimes this contact is through a head-on confrontation. 
but most often it is a gradual awakening to the reality that we have been enveloped in its power all along without being aware of it. This is not just playing with words. It is an expression of an experience that all Jodo Shinshuists have gone through. Have you... Thank you.